We're watching the challenge every week. Welcome back to Black Girl Reacts. Parts of this challenge are coming to you from my bathtub where me and my cramps decided to watch the Challenge All Stars episode 3. Okay, we're going to be getting into that today and everything that went down. So if you like the show, it would be in your best interest to subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. If you're watching this video, it's the least you can do. Okay, I'm in the tub. We're watching the challenge every week. I'm ready. I'm ready. So let's get into it. Y'all ready to party? So this week's challenge was an ice humping fest. <laughs> which is pretty interesting. Yeah, MTV does have a history of putting these challengers through some suggestive activity. Whether that's humping some ice until it literally melts so you can find a puzzle piece or running through a field naked. Running around, getting a sunburn on my balls. They were separated into teams and the goal was to melt these blocks of ice in order to retrieve this shield that was embedded in the ice that then had the name of a particular challenge season. They were then tasked with organizing these shields in chronological order based off of when these challenges took place. Now, it could just be the state of the world we're in right now, but this challenge was a no for me and it's not because of the sex positions they were trying out. <laughs> It's because people were spitting and breathing and like letting their bodily fluids flow all over this ice and like even if we weren't dealing with Miss Rona at the moment, like why would that, why do we want to do that? They were spitting and breathing and just like unearthing their bodily fluids all over this ice just to get a shield. People are volunteering their bodily fluids, yeah. little spit, maybe just all pain. That is not only gross, but it is triggering as hell, considering everything we have going on at the moment. We didn't need to do it then, we don't need to do it now. Even if we weren't dealing with Miss Rona, that is nasty and uncalled for, I'm just saying. Blech. So they were going at it, and with this being a men's elimination week, the male captain on the losing team went straight into elimination, and unfortunately, that was Nehemiah. I'll be seeing you in the arena. Not only was I not happy about Nehemiah going into elimination, but I was not down for this black on black crime that ensued. Let's go, let's go. Let's hope it's a cool Russell, Randy. Hey. No black on black crime. And I say that because I want an all black final. I'll say it. We're getting close with what we have right now on Double Legends, but I want an all black final. And tech decided to pick a fight with Nehemiah. No black on black crime, no say that. And then Nehemiah used that as reason enough to call Tech out to go in an elimination against him. I mean, looking at the game today, Tech put a target on his back. And like, I understand the strategy, right? I understand why Nehemiah would rather go against Tech, someone who has a reason to then call out to go against instead of making a new enemy with somebody else. But I want an all black final. And like Nehemiah, there's a bigger picture here that I need you to see. There's a bigger picture. And like, if you want to see that, and like, I get it, but it can still happen. But he could have gone against anyone else. That's all I'm saying. Especially because there was another plan in the works. What do I mean? Let's talk about Kendall again, shall we? And then there was you, Kendall. So tell us what happened. <laughs> It's, well, it's a, hmm. Unlike Kendall, who had to go into elimination last week and used every single excuse in the book to try to keep her ass from getting thrown in, Tech, on the other hand, took a lot of champ and nominated himself to go in because he knew it was about to go down. It is, it okay, it then. I respect that so much. However, Miss Kendall ended up being team captain on the winning team this week, along with my man Derail. <laughs> Which means she had the power to use the lifesaver to keep Tech from going in and potentially would have to nominate another guy to go in. And Kendall decided to make the entire house think that she might potentially use this lifesaver to save Tech and instead nominate Big Easy and save us from a black on black elimination. Most people in the house were on board with this plan, particularly Jenny, who I guess likes Nehemiah and Tech, but I guess with Nehemiah just a little bit more. What? <laughs> Right now. But Kendall decided to get everyone in the house worked up as if she was about to use this lifesaver only to not use the fucking lifesaver. And I understand that that was like within her right to do, but like what was all of that peacocking for? Okay, she didn't have to do that. If she was gonna use it, why'd she make everyone think she was gonna use it? You didn't have to do it. You really didn't. 
<laughs> Fast forward to elimination, and I really wish they would have just thrown Big Easy in because it wasn't a pole wrestle or a hall brawl. Instead, it was a new competition that I haven't seen before. It's called Going Out of Tile. <laughs> I just got them actually. It looked pretty cool. The goal was to essentially race into this cage and then knock out every single color that you were assigned to and then race back before your partner. Simple enough. And then. TJ decided to prove how much of a sadist he really was and threw in the most superfluous task caveat ever. He made Tech and Nehemiah down two California Reapers, which I'm pretty sure are the hottest pepper in the world, and it served absolutely no purpose. I say that because he really made the two of them down those peppers before starting this competition. And then at first I was like, okay, well maybe it's like, well, whoever downs the pepper first gets the start. No, he just made them swallow these and then wait, and then start. So what was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the I reason? Had to what was the reason? It wasn't even like in conjunction with the competition because no one got to start earlier. If they swallowed the pepper earlier, it made no sense. Like this ain't hot ones. <laughs> You're an actual sadist, TJ. Fucking wild, man. I don't know how many Scoville units those pepper have, but like. What was the I reason? So they down these peppers, both of them down these peppers, wait. So TJ gives them the go-ahead and start this competition. It was pretty close, okay, but like ultimately Nehemiah pulled through and came back, which was great. I hated to see Ted go. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, man. Hey, no problem. Kendall, it's all your fault. Thank you for facilitating this black on black crime. I'm just kidding. Nehemiah, it's your fault for facilitating this black on black crime by calling out Tech. I mean, looking at the game today, Tech put a target on his back. But yeah, it, it was just, the whole episode was weird. Between like the porno, ice melting, unsanitary shoot to the elimination that made absolutely no sense. A lot of things didn't make sense this episode. But I don't understand it. Like the drama that unfolded. Like I said last episode, I don't know Ruthie, don't have anything against Ruthie, but I guess Ruthie has a lot of things against everybody else, especially Anissa. Which was pretty upsetting to me, by the way, considering I love Anissa. <laughs> And like her and Ruthie were like killing it in the last challenge and I would have loved if Anissa and Ruthie would be friends but I guess Ruthie's mad at Anissa for something that happened years ago and I don't really know if all of us really know what happened years ago to make Ruthie that upset. You know what you did? Boom, this can you ever know. A split second can change, it can change everything. So Ruthie was wilding out a little bit this episode and I don't know how to feel about it. If she feels like an outsider, I don't want that obviously but like Ruthie, are you good? I just felt like she was upset and no one knew why. Anyway, that was this week's episode. Pretty standard, straightforward, weird, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Let's stop the black on black crime in the coming episodes, please. Stop the cap. I'm just kidding, but like, seriously, let's stop. The wind in my apartment is telling me that it's time to end this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe right now. Just a little tick. Make sure you tap in, okay? Because I'm here every single week. And I will be here next week to review episode four of All Stars with you. So come join me. Have you had fun? Have fun! If you want to chill in the bath with me next week, you know, subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and I will see you. In my next upload. I'm out this bitch. Can hit the beat live, you know, Lil G.